OA Food Company has come out with a groundbreaking new product that has everything we want in pasta without the stuff we don't want. We're here at Cafe Max in Pompano Beach, Florida, and I'm with Chef Oliver Saucy. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you very much. So what do you have today? Well, I have my new favorite pasta substitute, okay. Palmini pasta. Actually, it comes from a can, and it's made from hearts of palm. Who would have thunk it, right? Right. How innovative and genius is this? Very low sugar, very low carbs, and it really works on any pasta recipe that you have. Whatever your favorite pasta is, substitute this, and you're good to go. First thing you want to do is go ahead and drain it. And I think that's all you really have to do is right there. But it does have a little bit of citrus in the uh, in the can, so what I like to do is just rinse it in a little bit of water. Okay. Some you... like to soak it in milk yes, or soy can... milk or whatever, but I don't think you really need to do it. I like it just like that. And I just kind of give but it a couple. But this is vegan. This is totally vegan. Non-GMO. Yeah. And that's pretty much ready to go there. And like I said, any pasta that you want to do, we're gonna make a shrimp scampi with fresh tomatoes. So we don't have much to do here. We're just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper in there. We're waiting for our pan to get hot. Yeah, close enough. Now where can we find this? Is this in some grocery stores? You know, yeah, probably the online. higher ends, but definitely online. I mean, uh, Amazon is probably a good place. And I think you can see all the positive reviews on there. There's 20 calories in a serving. This mm -hmm. is great. Isn't it? That's and this good. could be like a summer dish if you want it, if you don't want to heat this the kitchen. This is good all year long. So at this point here, we're going to add some chopped garlic into here. Wow. Good bit of garlic you want for scanty. <laughs> I know what else you're going to add. Just going to twist that around. Butter goes at the end. <laughs> then we're going to add in here our fresh tomatoes. We're gonna come with a little bit of white wine. Because we're gonna add some lemon juice, and lemon juice is plenty of acidy. Okay. That's about a half of a lemon juice. Ah. So we're just gonna kind of mix all that around. Look at the nice color there. Yep, smells garlicky. And we're just about there. Now we're gonna add in some butter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You need some butter. Just a little butter. Some extra virgin olive oil. Some fresh basil gonna go in there. More. Lots of fresh basil gonna go in there. More pepper. A little bit of salt and pepper gonna go in there. And then we're gonna come oh, with our pasta. Oh, you're just putting that right on That's top. That's it, yep. Just to warm it up. Yep, but doesn't that look nice? I mean, yes. if you didn't know it, this would look exactly Ex like linguine. Exactly. So we're just gonna arrange some of that down. We're gonna come with our shrimp. Finish it just the way you'd like to finish your pasta. You know, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, go right ahead. You want to put a little bit of red pepper flake, go right ahead. A little bit of parsley. What and are you then, doing, uh, basil? Well, we got parsley, we got basil. And that's that pretty much it. It's beautiful. And you can see that took, what, two, three minutes. That's how fast it is. No gluten. Gluten-free, virtually sugar-free. Mm. Wow, that that's great. Palmini, Hearts of Palm, who would think it? I know, genius, That's absolutely great. genius. I was not aware of that Palmini pasta. That's so cool, I can't wait to try it at home. Yes, it was so good, Mario. Well, when Food Quest returns, we're gonna be in Italy with a sparkling wine that's taking the world by storm, one effervescent experience at a time.